the fur has been clipped here and now the skin is cleaned with a antimicrobial solution called Novasan. We're removing stray hairs, dirt, debris, bacteria, whatever could be on a pet's skin. Now the technician is feeling for the vein and placing the IV catheter directly into the vein in a front leg. She's making sure that there is blood flow through the catheter. Then she places the tip into the catheter to prevent blood from flowing out as she prepares to secure the catheter. She's cleaning any moisture or blood away from the catheter site. She's dabbing any blood away from the area. Now she's using skin tape to keep the catheter secure. Pets sometimes are nervous and move just like that and can accidentally pull a catheter out. This tape is placed securely keep the catheter from moving or coming loose while it's in use. More tape is placed here. That is a piece of gauze with an antimicrobial ointment placed right at the spot where the catheter enters the skin to prevent infections. This part is called a T-port that allows us to give injections into the catheter. This is a sterile saline and heparin flush to make sure that the catheter hasn't developed any clots in it, make sure that it is ready for use. Here the technician is attaching the IV fluid line to the IV catheter and T-port. She's now going to use a piece of tape and make a loop in the IV line and secure that IV line to the pet's leg. That loop is used in the event the pet jerks and pulls on the IV line. It prevents the catheter from being pulled out. It may loosen the loop a little bit, but the catheter stays in place. So there you go. That's how you place an IV catheter. Hi, I want to take a moment to introduce myself. I'm a licensed veterinarian in the state of California. I'm starting this YouTube channel to let people like you know what might happen behind the scenes at an animal hospital. These videos are not intended for you to diagnose or treat your pets at home. Um, these procedures are to be done under the strict guidance of a veterinarian. If you feel that you have a sick pet, please call your local veterinarian and get your pet diagnosed and treated. I, we hope you enjoy these series of videos. Talk to you soon.